What's up guys? Welcome to Ian Outdoors. Today we're going to be working on my new Holland baler again. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll get on with the video. Today we're going to be painting the underneath of it, like the yellow from the front hay pickup. I got all the front things that go in front of it done, the curved things. Still don't know the name. I can't find the name of them. I didn't think it would be hard, but I can't. So we're going to get on with the video and I'm going to be painting them today. And dad is just... Um, well, with this little zzz, zzz thing, maybe you heard it in the intro, it's just right here. Now we're just, uh, we took the tire off, the old tire, to get in here, because we got new tire, not, not new tires, but new sort of new rims. Everything's used, because it's an old machine. And now we're going to put in the new tire on, paint all this yellow, get in there. But we're going to try to spin that part there. And Dad's just cleaning out all the inside of that. The new tires. There's the new tires. That's the one for the other side. And then there's that one there. I made a mess painting, but it's not hard to do. I ruined the, I didn't ruin the tires, but I got them all full of paint. So now I have yellow and black tires and cracks. So we're back. It's the second day now. Yesterday we got distracted. That's not bent properly. We got distracted and had to go do other jobs and other stuff. So we're back now. We're going to do more work and ready to go. Dad's just bringing in the new back rack for his truck. It's not new. It's used. But my grandfather, Pop, gave me, gave Dad the back rack off one of his old trucks. And now we're going to sand that down, paint that, keep on working on the baler. So let's get started. We bent the piece of metal to this bottom part here. Because that lip was really hard to bend and we used this torque to bend it. Now I have to prime the bottom part since we beat it straight up and burnt it off. Then we're ready. And then paint. It might be a bit noisy, but now I'm going to take these. Thingy thing things and get them all painted. Uh, we're going to prime this one here. It's on the ground right now. We bent it thanks to my grandfather for helping us bend, bend it. We went down to his shop in Green River and we um, bent the metal with his torch because we don't have one. Well, we have the torches, but we need the, I forget what it's called, the gas. And so now we're to prime where we bent and I have to take that one down but it needs a second coat. I'm just going to prime and paint these two and then put that one back up and then put another coat on these again. So it's going to be a time lapse of me doing it and I'm going to film a bit of dad working on his back rack.
Do something bigger and powerful. Two speed plug. Love it old tractor. It's good, eh? I'm gonna walk through and show you what we got done. Um, we spray painted around the tire to get rid of the yellow. And also to get rid of some of the dry rot. Dad finished the back rack. Looks really good. Um, over here in the back, this we put the new tire on for this side. And it looks really good. It kind of looks a bit lime green for me, but I'm colorblind and it might be the glare. I don't know what it looks like on camera, hopefully better. And this piece here I took down. And the big main piece inside uh, is all painted and primed and second coat, almost ready for the second coat. This piece here is still drying. So is that one still drying. I painted them all and we bent the metal on these angles today, right there. And right, no, we didn't do that one today. That was a different day. So we got all this stuff done now. Next, whatever is next. Oh, and one more thing. Calendar for April. Cat trucks. Okay guys, this is gonna be the end of the video for today, but before we do end it, I wanna give you a quick update on my plants that I planted two weeks ago. I did an update maybe a week and a half ago. So before we end, I wanna say uh, this is my third attempt to make this outro. The first time the camera fell over, the second time I had it filmed upside down for some weird reason. So let's hope this time works. So I got my pumpkins here. One grew, the rest are not really growing that good. I have one little bud, but he hasn't grown much in the last little bit. I have my watermelons. They're taking okay. I, three have grown. Uh, I have another four that didn't grow. Maybe they'll pop up soon, I don't know. Then I have behind me some watermelons. I have one little one right there that's covered in dirt. And he's Oh, doing okay. Then I have peanuts right here. I never planted peanuts. Never did anything with peanuts before. Uh, I never even knew. I didn't have know how. I didn't know how they grew, and I don't know what to do. What they should look like. I don't know if they're even peanut seeds or not. I know that they're peanuts. It was labeled peanuts, but I wouldn't know if it was or not. Right here, I have peas. They're doing really good. I think they're going to grow so quick that I'm going to have to transplant them early into a, just a bigger box. And then I have tomatoes and cucumbers right here. The cucumbers are were the first ones that started growing. They're really good and growing good. And I have tomatoes right next to it. They're getting pretty big. These cucumbers are really growing good. I have a small one in the corner there. And I replanted that one there since the seed had nothing inside of it. Um, I put a new one in and that one's growing good. Now I have more tomatoes here. I planted quite a few tomatoes. And then I have the whole upstairs garden, too. So that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.